Hello and welcome to the Verisurf 2019 release presentation, where we'll see the difference and learn what makes the latest release of Verisurf software the most powerful and productive version yet. The presentation is divided into four parts. Introductions, Acquiring the New Release, New Feature Overview, and Q&A. Let me start by introducing myself. I'm Nick Moffitt, Education Product Manager at Verisurf and it's my pleasure to introduce what's new in Verisurf 2019. In acquiring the new release, we'll learn how to download, register, and install the latest version. We'll then see an overview of the most important new features and learn how they enable more efficient inspection and reverse engineering over a wide range of applications. The Verisurf 2019 release notes, which are installed with the software, provide a comprehensive summary of all the new functionality. Finally, we'll address the questions that are most likely to arise when installing or upgrading to Verisurf 2019. Let's start by learning how to download and install the latest version. The installer is completely self-contained, so it's not necessary to have Mastercam already installed. It's also possible to install Verisurf 2019 alongside prior versions. The process begins on Verisurf's website, www.verisurf.com. Here, we access the Support Downloads page, where we'll download the software. The Support Downloads page requires a login. We'll enter the username, user, and the password, Verisurf, all in lowercase. We'll follow the download instructions in the Verisurf 2019 installation section. The file includes all the software required to install Verisurf 2019, including Mastercam and the latest VDI, so it might take a few minutes to download. When the download is complete, we'll run the downloaded installer. Verisurf uses a standard installation program, so we can simply follow the prompts. When the Verisurf installation is complete, we run the VDI updater to select and install drivers for our device. The most visible change in Verisurf 2019 is the addition of Feature Balloons and the Details pane. Feature Balloons display the selected characteristics of measured features, including tolerance condition, so that inspection results are visible immediately. The Details pane displays all characteristics of the selected feature. It lets the operator define nominal and tolerance values, control Feature Balloon visibility, and configure the balloon display. The Details pane is displayed and hidden using the Toggle Details pane button, and feature balloons can remain visible even when the Details pane is closed. To reposition the balloons, we choose the Move Balloons button, and then drag the balloons into position. When a CAD model is used for inspection, Verisurf automatically assigns nominals to the measured features. They can be viewed in the balloons and in the Details pane. For drawing-based inspection, nominal values are entered manually using the Details pane. The Details pane supports multi-feature editing to simplify entry of nominal and tolerance values. When multiple features are selected, the Details pane shows only the characteristics common to the selection, and the input values are assigned to all selected features. The Details pane can be filtered so that only characteristics of interest are displayed. The Details pane displays and enables editing of the characteristics of one or more features to provide easy access to measured values, nominals, tolerances, and results. It functions like a mini report manager that's docked to the GUI. The window can be undocked, redocked, and resized. The tabs in the Details pane enable configuration of the balloons by controlling their visibility based on whether they're selected or simply checked. The Columns tab controls which columns are displayed in the balloons, and it even allows custom labels by entering the column header text. When Add Nominal from CAD is used to assign nominal values to a selected group of features, because the nominals were defined or added later, Verisurf prompts for the CAD entity for each feature in the selection to simplify entry and help ensure accuracy. Feature balloons display the selected characteristics of measured geometry so that tolerance evaluation is available immediately. Balloons can be included with inspection report screenshots to communicate results more effectively. When a feature is measured, inspection results are calculated automatically so that tolerance condition can be displayed immediately. 
nonconformities can easily be identified without having to create and open a report, and the level of detail is greater than what's shown in the auto inspect window. The placement of balloons is enabled using the Move Balloons button. Balloons can be arranged using drag and drop simplicity and can be resized easily using the plus and minus keys. The result column displays an obvious pass fail indicator for each characteristic. Passing values that use 80% or more of the tolerance are displayed in yellow. The display text for feature balloons can be customized in VeriSurf Preferences, Display Settings, Balloons. Settings include text, background, and border color, and are global to all balloons. Balloon visibility is off by default. The Balloon tab on the Details pane can be used to configure balloons to display when they're selected or when they're checked or selected. Balloons can be configured individually or in groups. VeriSurf 2019 supports live color scans from various scanning devices and reads color information from common scan file formats. Recording object color helps retain information that would otherwise be lost when capturing 3D clouds and meshes. This improves the ability to visualize and interpret overlay text and details such as QA stamps, part numbers, and etched or stamped values. Meshes created from colored point clouds inherit color data from the cloud, which adds realism to the mesh and helps retain information. VeriSurf 2019 supports live color scanning of point clouds and meshes using a variety of connected scanning devices. In addition to live color scanning, VeriSurf 2019 reads and supports the color information in common scan file formats such as OBJ and VRML files. VeriSurf 2019 now supports measurement of square and rectangular slots in addition to the standard Aubrown slot to expand the range of parts that can be inspected. Aubrown, rectangular, and square slots can all be measured using least squares, inscribed, and circumscribed fitting. The new slot types simplify inspection of a greater variety of parts, particularly sheet metal parts. Each type of slot is identified by a unique icon in the data tree and the report manager for easier identification. Feature extraction in VeriSurf 2019 uses inspection plans to analyze surface profile and fit geometric features to data extracted from previously measured point clouds and meshes to enable automated part inspection using scan data. In model-based inspection plans, the CAD values of the target features can be used to define the extraction zones. Extraction filters include the max search distance from the nominal feature and a minimum distance to avoid edges. In print-based inspection, the nominal values of features that are measured, for example, in teach mode, are used to establish radial and axial extraction boundaries. A sigma filter is used to enable scanner noise reduction based on the standard deviation of the feature fit to provide more accurate inspection results. A powerful group alignment option is available to best fit the scan data to localized regions of the model to assist in the extraction of features on parts that are flexible or challenging to hold in their nominal defined form. The Extraction Settings dialog is accessed using a right mouse click, so it's easy to select one or more features and then modify their extraction settings. After the extraction settings are configured, the plan is run in Auto Inspect to extract the features from point clouds and meshes in the data tree and then analyze and report the feature characteristics. Feature extraction can analyze surface profile as well as geometric features. The following video provides an overview of the feature extraction process using a variety of example parts. Non-contact scanners are increasingly being used to inspect parts of all types and sizes throughout industries ranging from automotive, aerospace, energy, and shipbuilding to consumer products, among others. These scanners provide fast data acquisition, but the sheer volume of data they acquire presents unique challenges for inspection. VeriSurf's feature extraction tool makes it simple to filter noise from the data and to select only the relevant points so the inspection results are as accurate as possible. Feature extraction works with any type of part, including precision machined parts, sheet metal, and any other parts that require dimensional inspection.
In addition, extraction works on any type of geometry, including 2 and 3D features, as well as surfaces that are subject to profile inspection. The VeriSurf device interface enables scanning with all types of connected scanners, and VeriSurf can use data in the form of both point clouds and meshes, and can import data from external files. Let's begin with an example of a sheet metal part that's been measured with a non-contact scanner to create a point cloud. We're required to check the locations of six holes and surface profile on the front of the part. We'll do this by comparing the point cloud to the nominal part model. Verisurf will automatically extract measured circles from the point cloud for comparison. If we fit the screen, we see that the point cloud is not aligned to the model. We'll use an inspection plan created specifically for that purpose to align the data. When we choose Run, Verisurf performs a global alignment, registers the point cloud to the model, and finishes with an RPS alignment to the holes. The addition of global and nominal registration in Verisurf Automate enables completely automated inspection workflows using non-contact scan data. After accepting the alignment results, we can perform the extraction and analysis. We'll use a separate inspection plan to extract the geometry from the point cloud, compare the circles to nominal, and analyze the point cloud to the surface. Using a separate plan enables greater speed and flexibility if the point cloud is already aligned, which is often the case. When we run the plan, Verisurf extracts the circles, reports their position and diameter, and then analyzes the point cloud to the model. The plan includes a screenshot, so we can simply choose Show Report to view the results. Let's see another example, this time using a strikelet a formed aluminum transition surface between the fuselage of an aircraft and the leading edge of a wing or stabilizer. For this part, we also want to check the position and diameter of the holes and the surface profile. If we highlight the plan, we see the report layout. The file contains no scan data, so we'll import a point cloud that's been pre-aligned to the part during the scan process. After the point cloud loads, we'll reset the view and then run the plan. The extracted features are saved to the database, and the results are displayed in balloons surrounding the model in the graphics window. In the final calculation, surface profile is analyzed, and the result is shown as a color map on the model. Automated feature extraction offers the greatest time savings when inspecting batches of parts, where each sample undergoes the same alignment, analysis, and reporting. However, the task of creating an inspection plan is as simple as analyzing a single piece once the measurements are complete. We'll use a scan of the Verisurf demo part to see how the process works. In the Automate Manager, we'll start by creating a new plan. We'll then select the wireframe and any additional 3D geometry. Finally, we'll add the features from CAD. Verisurf automatically recognizes the CAD feature types when adding the geometry. We then configure the extraction settings, which control how Verisurf selects which points to use for each feature. These settings include options to limit the search distance from the nominal feature or to filter scanner noise from the data. For parts that don't have a CAD model, feature extraction is based on the nominal values of feature objects. After displaying and arranging the balloons, we'll clear the results and run the plan. As each feature is extracted and analyzed, we see the results. As before, when the plan is complete, we can show the report. To inspect additional parts, we simply align to and scan them, and then run the inspection plan. The new Power Mesh tool in Verisurf 2019 automatically cleans up, fills holes, and refines choppy meshes, starting with either point cloud or mesh data. Before Power Mesh, the 3D mesh might include voids and other surface irregularities. After Power Mesh, the holes are filled and the mesh is refined and the edges extended. The mesh is then ready for editing and trimming. Power Mesh simplifies and enhances the accuracy of point cloud and mesh based reverse engineering workflows. It's a natural first step when creating models from point cloud or mesh data. Power Mesh is automatic. Just highlight the point clouds or meshes and choose Power Mesh from the speed menu. Power Mesh fills any holes in the mesh, refines the mesh, 
and saves the results as a new mesh. Overlapping point clouds and meshes that are aligned to one another will be appended automatically during the power mesh process, resulting in a single, new, final mesh. Power mesh supports color scanning, so point clouds and meshes used in the power mesh workflow retain their original color to help preserve detail information. In Verisurf 2019, the crop tool for point clouds and meshes has been improved by enabling rotation of the crop box as an alternative to aligning the data or to crop in orientations that aren't square to the part axes. The crop box can now be rotated around the axes of the active WCS to simplify cropping of complex point clouds and meshes. This is particularly helpful when the mesh edges aren't parallel to the axes of the WCS. When the crop dialog first opens, the sliders correspond to the axes of the active WCS, rather than the part frame, to simplify working with multiple alignments. Rotating the crop box minimizes or eliminates the need to align the data, which is helpful when working with raw point clouds and meshes. The Extend Mesh function now includes an option to extend hole edges, and it features an Undo button to reverse the previous operation. Extend Mesh was moved to the Add Speed menu for consistent function placement and to simplify operation. Mesh Extension now includes an option to extend the edges of the holes in the mesh in addition to the outside edges. The function now supports multiple levels of undo to revert to the previous mesh so that various extend distances can be tried without having to create copies. The slice function has been improved and simplified in Verisurf 2019 through the ability to slice a point cloud or mesh in a 2D orientation based on the screen axes. CAD splines created by slicing a mesh are used primarily during reverse engineering workflows to create CAD surfaces based on lofted or net surfacing. The 2D option simplifies slicing by eliminating the need to align the data to the along axes in the dialog. In 2D mode, the along axes correspond to the screen axes. Rotating the G view to orient the slice plane greatly enhances slice control. Slices taken in 2D still capture the full 3D nature of the scan data. The new Export to Edge Splines function creates CAD splines on the free edges of a mesh. The Export to Edge Splines function simplifies reverse engineering workflows using a mesh by automatically creating closed edge CAD splines on free edges in the mesh. Cropping creates a planar free edge on a mesh. Exporting these cropped edge segments creates a smooth, planar, closed edge CAD spline that can be used to surface the mesh. This tool is ideal for cropped scans of ducts and ports, or any other mesh that requires a spline to control surfacing on an open edge. The following video demonstrates the workflow used to create a net surface from splines that were created using 2D slice and export to edge splines. The part we'll use for this demonstration is a Cobra head style turbo downpipe which is used to reduce exhaust gas restrictions and improve engine performance. It was measured with a laser scanner on a portable arm to produce a point cloud, which was then used to create a 3D mesh. We'll start by exporting the open ends of the mesh to edge splines. This creates the first two curves that will define the surface. Next, we'll slice the mesh to create curves parallel and perpendicular to the flow axis. The directional slices work great if the mesh is already aligned. Otherwise, we can simply choose 2D and create slices relative to the graphics view. We'll take one slice along the flow line and then several perpendicular to it. For curves that don't lie in a section plane, we can use the Sketch tool to create freeform curves by sketching directly on the mesh. These curves help define the surface 90 degrees from the axial slice. When the curve network is complete, we'll hide the mesh. We'll then choose Surfaces, Net Surface, and select the curves. This gives us a single NURBS surface rather than a collection of patches. If we view the surface in wireframe, we can see the outline.
Verisurf integrates inspection with reverse engineering, so we can easily check surface accuracy by comparing it to the original mesh to see how well the model conforms to the data. The downpipe surface looks correct, so we'll use the solids commands first to create a solid from the surface and then to thicken the solid so it represents the actual material thickness. To create the flanges, we'll first export the measured cross sections to CAD. These were captured using the portable arm probe when the pipe was scanned. We'll then use the solids revolve command to create flanges at both ends. We now have a solid model that we can use for CNC machining, flow analysis, reverse engineering, and inspection. Verisurf 2019 streamlines inspection by indexing the points and analysis objects to their MBD callouts. When inspect mode is used to check surfaces and other features that are controlled by an MBD tolerance callout, the MBD name is assigned as a prefix to the names of the points in the analysis. The indexed names of profile points appear in the graphics window, in report screenshots, and in the analysis profile details. This correlation between the model, the report, and the display facilitates identification of potential problem areas. Verisurf 2019 simplifies report screenshots by enabling pre-selection of features from within the report manager. Prior to taking a screenshot, the features to be included in the report are highlighted before clicking the Screenshot button. The screen can then be further modified before completing the capture. Feature balloons are displayed for the selected features, even if they're turned off in the Details pane. Pre-selection makes it easy to highlight and capture only the most important features for a report. Simply add the screenshot to the Feature selection and choose the Report button. Custom objects in the Report Builder can now be duplicated, edited, and reused to save time. The Report Builder now features a duplicate option for custom objects, so they can be used elsewhere in the report, such as custom headers and footers. New custom objects can be created quickly and easily by duplicating and then editing an existing custom object. Verisurf 2019 simplifies the total runout calculation by eliminating the need for a separate datum reference feature. Total runout was simplified by eliminating the need to create a datum feature to which total runout is referenced. This saves time and reduces the number of objects in a report. Total runout can now be calculated from a single feature by using the feature's own nominal position and axis values to define the datum. Total runout can still be calculated using a separate datum feature by selecting both the datum feature and the considered feature. Verisurf 2019 features a number of other general enhancements. The Verisurf 2019 reference guides, which are placed in a desktop folder during installation, have been updated to include all the 2019 enhancements. Refer to the relevant document and the Verisurf 2019 release notes for more information on the new release. The Mold Plus CAD translator has been updated and now supports CATIA V5 R29, the CATIA V6 3D Experience version R2017X, as well as the Siemens NX format. In addition, the translator supports STEP AP242 import and features associative MBD for files that contain tolerance information, so you can take full advantage of build and inspect using Verisurf MBD. The Copy to Clipboard function on the Analysis tab, which copies the selected CAD points for pasting into Word, Excel, and other documents, now supports the active WCS, so that point coordinates are in the active frame of reference. Verisurf 2019 includes STEP AP242 file support as a standard Open and Save As format, so you can work seamlessly with this new standard. Verisurf 2019 supports export of the STEP AP242 file format, as well as import that includes model-based definition to help maintain a digital inspection workflow. When opening files that contain model-based definition, the dimension and tolerance data is read in, and the user-defined views, including MBD annotations, are automatically added to MasterCam view sheets. Before concluding the presentation, 
let's address some frequently asked questions regarding Verisurf 2019. Can Verisurf 2018 and 2019 be run on the same computer? Yes, both versions of Verisurf can be installed simultaneously. This helps when transitioning from one version to the other. On the Verisurf homepage, choose Support System Requirements for more information. Can balloons display only specific properties of a feature? Balloons can display any characteristics that Verisurf reports. These are listed in the Details pane, and their display in the balloon is enabled using the checkboxes. Are balloons shown in report screenshots? Yes, balloons can be included in report screenshots to help convey inspection results more effectively. Can balloons be turned off? Yes, balloons can be turned on and off individually or in groups using the balloon visibility controls in the details pane. Is a laser scanner required to use feature extraction? Any device capable of measuring a point cloud or mesh can be used, and feature extraction works with pre-scanned or imported point clouds and meshes. Does Power Mesh trim to wireframe? Power Mesh produces a clean mesh. Trimming is performed in a later step. Does Export to Edge Splines export edges of holes? Yes, any open edge on a mesh, whether it's a hole or an open end, is considered an edge and results in creation of a spline. Can I turn off MBD Analysis Indexing? Yes, analysis deviations are indexed to the name of the MBD callout when measured using inspect mode. To disable indexing, the MBD name can be disabled or left blank, or the points can be measured as a cloud and then analyzed. Can I save Report Builder custom objects for use in other jobs? Custom objects created in Report Builder are local to that report and don't persist between Verisurf job files or between reports within the same job. How can I find out if I'm eligible for a software upgrade? To learn more about your software upgrade status, contact your local sales representative. Will release notes and reference guides be available in languages other than English? Release notes and reference guides in supported languages will be posted on the Verisurf downloads page as they become available. Release notes are provided in Adobe PDF format. Reference guides are part of the Verisurf installation software download. Whom should I contact if I have technical questions or want to get pricing information? Technical questions and pricing inquiries should be sent to info at verisurf.com. They'll be routed to the appropriate person. What options are available for me or my colleagues to get training? In addition to the release notes and reference guides, Verisurf offers both online training through Verisurf University and instructor-led training delivered by a Verisurf application engineer. For more information, contact sales at verisurf.com. How can I tell if Verisurf will operate my organization's measuring equipment? Verisurf supports all common 3D measuring devices, including portable arms, CMMs, laser trackers, and scanners. To verify compatibility with your particular device, contact support at verisurf.com or review the compatible hardware devices on the Verisurf website found under Solutions Hardware. What is special about Verisurf compared to the software we already have? Verisurf is unique because it offers a common platform for enterprise manufacturing. Verisurf integrates CAD, CAM, and computer-aided inspection in a consistent operator environment that supports all common 3D file formats and measuring devices, both fixed and portable. Can I use Verisurf if I'm not connected to a measuring device? Yes, Verisurf can be used offline for inspection, analysis, and reverse engineering using data that was measured at a previous time or was supplied by a third party. Does Verisurf come with example files I can use? If so, where can I find them? Yes, Verisurf installs a directory of example files during the software installation. They can be found using the Verisurf example files shortcut in the My MCAM 2019 parts directory in the Documents folder. Do I need to buy Verisurf and Mastercam separately? A Verisurf software license includes Mastercam design, and both are included in the installation file. Why do I have to install Verisurf and the Verisurf device interface applications separately? 
The VeriSurf device interface, or VDI, includes support for virtually all 3D measuring devices, not all of which will be used by every customer. Separating the installations allows VeriSurf to limit the number of files and drivers that are installed to only the necessary devices. Where can I find answers to questions that are not covered here? For more information, please email info at verisurf.com or contact your local sales representative. Verisurf provides additional resources to help get you up and running with Verisurf 2019. These include release notes, video presentations, and support via email. The 2019 release notes can be found in the Verisurf 2019 Docs folder, which is placed on the desktop during installation. Here, you'll find detailed information on the enhancements in Verisurf 2019. Additional videos covering Verisurf 2019 functionality can be found on the Verisurf website under News Videos. Finally, you can obtain support for all Verisurf software, including Verisurf 2019, by emailing support at verisurf.com. That concludes the Verisurf 2019 presentation. Thanks for watching.